Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kelly Allen and welcome to this week's video. Okay, so first things first, right? This is weird. This is a different setup, probably sounds completely different. It's not actually how I wanted it. It's a little bit shadowy down here. So hopefully the green screen is working okay in post editing and it's not too grainy. Also, I've got ready for today, right? One thing, yes, I do have a gray bra on with a brown top, but also, can you even see? Mm, you might be able to see it. I've burnt my shoulder doing my hair and it's really sore and I can't put any cream on it till after I finish filming because obviously I need to tie my hair up to do it. So just, if I keep complaining about it, just feel for me. Right, today's video is all about the ugliest rare plants of all time. Now, I've thought about doing this one for a while because I know a lot of people, you know, if I haul a plant or I talk about a plant, whether it's good at shipping, whether it's easy, whether it's whatever, a lot of people sometimes comment going, ew, that's so gross, like who would even like those? And then normally we get a big discussion in the comments. So I thought today I would go through some rare plants, in inverted commas, because not all of them are rare anymore, of course, but rare plants or plants that have been rare at one time that I just find ugly as well. <laughs> This list is not in any particular order, but it has been put in mind with both what I think and what you guys think, because I did ask you on Instagram. So I will do that as we go through. And I'll let you know what you guys seem to be thinking as a collective. So without further ado, in no particular order, let's go. I have my phone on it with my list. And the first plant, oh my God, y'all y'all feel really strongly about this plant. The first plant on my list is the Syngonium Strawberry Ice. Listen, I have never liked this plant. I don't think I've ever liked it from day one. I know I hated it. I shit talked it for a long time. I then bought some in, I think. And I hated them even more. I tried to like them, honestly. I think I kept a really nice variegate for myself. And I, I didn't sell it. It might have died. I don't know if I sold it or it died. I don't really know. But I tried to like it and I just couldn't. Because to be quite honest, and I do have some photographs on my phone to refer to, but they just kind of... Ooh, it just looks like something's vomited on it, to be honest. It's just horrible, horrible colour. And I don't particularly like burgundy things with variegation thrown on top, usually. I just think it comes just, it just comes out a bit off. So I, I don't really know how to describe it because it's not necessarily burgundy. And to be honest, I've kind of thrown myself for a loop because the plant, the picture of the plant that I've put in here does actually look all right. It's probably like a good specimen. Probably shouldn't have done that. But it's just, ugh, it's not even, the pink variegation is not even solid because a lot of the time around the edge of the leaf, it goes like a, it's almost like the edges have been bleached a little bit. It's just a bit ew. Do you know what I mean? It's just ew. I don't want it. I don't sell it anymore. I might have like literally one somewhere that hasn't died. That would not surprise me. In fact, didn't I talk about that on a video a while ago that I actually had one? Can't remember. Let me know if you ever bought this. Let me know if you spent a lot of money on it. Let me know if you still like it. Uh, because I think most of my audience do not. Because this is definitely one that you guys suggested that was absolutely ugly as sin. So there you go. Syngonium strawberry ice. Right, next one on the list. It has to be, guys. It has to be. It is the Monstera Amsonii Mint. This thing is so ugly, right? I think now, by the way, if you genuinely are in the weird small percentage of people that didn't think this was ugly, but you didn't want to pay the price back then when two leaves were going for like £2,000 or euros or whatever have you, then you should be pleased to know that it's actually really cheap now. It's gone to garden centres now. Someone once told me way back when, right, when the whole mint thing was kicking off. So I don't know if this is true or not. I'm just going to tell you what I heard because to be honest, the plant is worth nothing now. It's no damage. It's no nothing. This is why I didn't really say anything earlier on. But someone actually told me once that uh, a, an individual or a group of individuals found this Adamsonia, the original plant, at the back of somebody's greenhouse. And I think the grower just thought, oh, it's a bit weird. I don't, don't you know, I don't care for it. I don't want it. And they just took it. Um, and I don't know if there was suspicion it was viral back then or not. Obviously, needless to say, I think this plant, I don't know what the current update is. I think it has been tested for, is it two viruses and it doesn't have those? I don't know. Honestly, guys, no one has kept up with this, have they really? But I think there was, there was a little bit of at the time anyway, but obviously people got to work propagating it and just didn't test it. So 
that's that. But anyway, aside from that, I didn't say that at the time because I didn't want to throw around things that either were or weren't true. And it, it wasn't that relevant anyway. But aside from that, it's just ugly. And to me, it's ugly because, and I had to think about this doing this list, I was thinking, right, why is this ugly to me? And a few plants on this list do fit this same bill. And I'm sure a lot of people will agree. There are a few plants on this list that fit this bill, and that is that it looks unwell. When variegation makes a plant look unwell, you can't like it. Because when it looks unwell, it usually looks unnatural. And it's just not very nice at all. It's just, ooh. I don't know, it's just a really weird kind of variegation where it does look slightly like mosaic -y. I'm not saying it is, again. Literally nobody needs to send me any letters or threaten to send me any letters or whatever. I'm just saying it, it looks dodgy, right? It looks dodgy. So I think that's why a lot of people didn't like it. And again, plenty of people put this on the list. I was not surprised at all because I kind of knew it was coming. There were certain plants on this list that I just knew were coming today. But yeah, that's one of them. I think I don't like it because it simply looks unwell. Not saying it is unwell. Relax yourself. I'm saying it looks unwell. Anyway, moving on. Ooh, I've never liked this one either. Why can't I scroll down? here. Give me one moment. That's weird. Why won't it let me scroll down? So the next plant on this list I have kind of always hated. And hate is a strong word, you know, like hate is a strong word for this one, but I've never thought it looks good. Do you know what I mean? Um, a, a lot of people do, but I don't. And there are some other plants on this list that you guys found to be a little bit similar. This was mentioned, but this is more of my pick. I think one person mentioned this plant and that is the philodendron black cardinal variegata. Now I actually, <laughs> I came up with a analogy of why I don't like this plant earlier on yesterday. And I've written down variegation with a Louis Vuitton patina. And Louis Vuitton fans among you may know exactly what I'm talking about. Because I'm going to show you the image. It may be the image I'm looking at. I don't know. It kind of looks like variegation that's patinaed, right? It don't, it doesn't, it doesn't look good. Now, don't get me wrong, some people love patina on leather, and I actually think, depending on what the item is, patina can look quite beautiful, right? So I'm not out here knocking patina on leather. Okay, specifically tan leather, cause it is the best. But this doesn't look very nice. I don't like the weird bronzy whatever, to the point where, to be honest with you, even though it's a black cardinal, the black no longer looks black. It's kind of done something really weird to the black, and now the black just looks green, at least on the image I'm looking at anyway. So I've never really liked it. I don't hail it as being striking. I don't really have anything bad to say about the original plant, the black cardinal, but it just, it just, it doesn't float my boat, guys. Let me know if you agree with that one, because that was not, I think like literally one person mentioned it, but that's more my pick for this list. So it's just a bit, ugh. you know, it's it's like, it's not even yellow variegation, it's not caramel variegation, although some people probably would say it was. It just looks a bit dirty. I think I called it dishwasher variegation once. And to be honest, I do think that's kind of fitting. Ah, <sighs> next up, I have never liked this. I've never liked this. I've tried to like it, right? And I've written down hypocritical, right? I've got very few notes about each plant, don't know if you can tell. But I've written down hypocritical because the next plant on the list is the Alocasia Jacqueline, right? Why am I being hypocritical? I'm saying I hate this plant, and I do, I just think it looks ugly. However, I really do like the Alocasia Zebrina Reticulata. If you don't know what it is, I'm sure there will be an image upon the screen to my left, usually. But, how do I describe it? The issue that I don't like about the Jacqueline is the issue I do like about the Reticulata, and that is that it, it does kind of look a bit ill. So this is, again, why I'm being hypocritical. I'll be the first person to say it. For some reason, on the Zebrina, it just looks better than this. And I think when the Zebrina carries it, the the weirdness on the leaf, I don't even know what the term is for that effect, so I'm not trying to be an idiot. Well, I guess I just am an idiot because I don't know what the name for the effect is. But I feel like the Zebrina carries the effect more because everything's just deeper, whereas this genuinely looks a bit chlorotic. Answers on a postcard as to whether you agree with me, because if you just want to write hypocrite, hypocrite, hypocrite all over again in the comments, that's absolutely fine. I, I'm taking your point, like I can see how you'd get there. One, it's looks ill, and two, I like another plant with this sort of thing going on. So, I don't know, did you get the Alocasia Jacqueline? There was a whole thing about it a while ago, I won't go into it, but it was a little bit controversial, because apparently every single one was poached, and yada yada yada. Did you get it? Did you not? What's the tea? So let me know in the comments what you think about the Jacqueline. And, of course, you can tell me if you think I'm a hypocrite, because that is actually hypocritical. I have no problem saying it. Oh god, this plant, okay. Listen, <laughs> I stocked this plant in, right, a long time ago, maybe 2021. I hauled this plant in, and I can't honestly remember what I said about it. I probably said, if I could guess what I said about it, because it was a long time ago, and you'd have to dig it out, 
I have no clue where it is or what hole it's in. But I probably said, I don't, it, I might have said it's not my favourite or I don't see the hype because this plant had a bit of hype to it. I'll tell you what it is so you're not just staring at my face. It's the Philodendron Bobsy, right? And do you guys remember, it might have been 2021, you know. I don't think it was 2020. I don't think it was. But <laughs> for whatever reason, maybe an influencer put it on, on like socials or something. That's why I just, it like out of nowhere, it was just there. And then it was sort of gone in a flash and no one cared anymore. But I don't, oh guys, it's not very attractive. Come on, man. If you want this effect from a plant, there's so many more nicer plants than this, right? I'm not going to name them because I do all the time and it's not really about that. But you can get a nice effect that doesn't have to be this, right? I just think it's a bit weird. And I'm not knocking weird because I like weird things, right? But it's just, ugh, I, I don't like this plant. I, I've tried to like it. Not hard, don't get me wrong. But I don't like it at all. Have I written any any notes? No, just came and went very quickly. Can't speak today. Came and went very quickly is what I said about it. Um, let me know if you remember the Bobsy because a lot of people may not remember it even happening. I don't know. I really don't know. Next plant, right, I've never liked this plant. I'm not even sure why. So I don't think you're even gonna get a reason for this one. And uh, no one else has said this, by the way, this is a me thing, as was the Bobsy, forgot to mention that. I think even the Jacqueline was a me thing. So this is a me thing, and I don't really know why I don't like it. I suspect it's the way that the variegation presents itself. And that is the Philodendron Brantianum. Can't even say it, Brantianum. Brantianum, Brantianum, I don't know. But I think I don't like it due to how the silver is. Now I love silver plants, right? I've, I've never knocked silver plants, I think they're great. Blue, silver, we love it, right? We love it. But this is just a bit, it's just a bit, ugh, I don't know why. Maybe if it trailed, and I'm not saying you probably couldn't grow it trailing, although I do suspect maybe you couldn't, I don't know. I've never cared enough to look it up, right? I just haven't. But I feel like if you grew it trailing, it'd be nicer, but I just don't like the harshness of the silver. It's almost, how can I describe this? It's sharp. Do you know what I mean? It's sharp. I just, I'm not a fan, guys, at all. I never really have been. Like, I've never, ever, ever, I don't think, had one into the shop, ever. And I think these these did make their way towards garden centres much quicker. So I'm sure they are good. I'm not going to knock them as a plant. I've got no experience at all. Literally, I'm just telling you what I think of how it looks. I assume it is a decent plant because it's in garden centres. And trust me, guys, when plants are in garden centres, they're probably all right. They've stood the test of something to get there, right? So generally speaking, shop from a garden centre if you're not sure about plants, probably going to be okay if you've got some experience with plants. But yeah, I can't, I can't can't tell you why I don't like it. I think it is just the silver and I think it's just because it looks a bit sharp, sharp, blocky, uh, inconsistent. I, I don't know. I just, I don't like it. And I'm sure I'm alone in this one. I'm, uh, I'm perfectly willing to be alone in this one. <sighs> right. Next one. The next one I've always disliked. Yes, I have sold it, full disclosure, because people wanted it. So I stocked it. But I have always hated this plant. I hate this plant so much. And I did a video on, I think, the variegation video. I did my my top 10 sort of pet peeves about variegation. It's kind of like a funny video. I'll link it down below if you want to see it or you have not seen it. Um, I think I mentioned this plant in that. And you guys suggested this plant. And it was the person that said it. And I can't remember what you said, but it was so on the head. It was ridiculous. But this is a medium, medium variegation. Guys, there's nothing to like about this plant. I'm sorry. I know I've sold it. I know I've sold it. There's nothing to like. There's nothing. It's misshapen. The variegation is really weird. It, I'm going to be honest, it doesn't look that well. It just doesn't. I've never particularly thought the plant looks very well. I think it's a very acquired taste. It's not quite as ill looking as the mint, but it's 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 getting there. I'm not gonna lie, it's getting there. It just doesn't look quite right. Um, they do grow very easily and all the rest. Like I don't really have much to say about their growth. It's kind of easy, it's not a problem. But it just looks nasty. I don't even have any notes on this plant other than, you probably can't read it. It says literally ew. That's what it says. That's the only note I've got for you. It's rank, we hate it, we're moving on. It's just nasty. Let me know if you still have these because personally, right, if you want an Amedrium, sack this off, right? Literally get yourself the all green version, Amedrium medium, or get the bluey silver version. The green version I think is easier from memory, a little bit easier than the blue, but just don't get that. Just don't, just don't. Even if they're a good price, they're just, you will end up hating them. I, I seriously, if you look and you think, oh, but it's variegated, it's a good price. Oh, it might be nice to try something different. Just don't. Honestly, just don't. Ugh. Ooh, this next one is suggested by you guys. And actually, I'm going to be totally honest. This one did not come to mind when I was doing this video, but a few of you suggested this plant. It was one of like the top three you suggested because I think the others are coming. But you guys suggested to me Monstera Oceana. And I 
I'm just guessing. It's for the same reason that I don't like the mint, I don't like the medium, other things like that. And that's because it it, can't, it it does look a little bit dodgy, isn't it? And again, I'm not saying it is. I believe this one has been tested quite a bit. Could be wrong. Don't listen to me. Check the comments. Someone will have corrected me if I'm wrong. Don't worry about it. But it just, hmm, I don't like it. I know why it's called Oceana because it looks a bit like ocean waves, blah, 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 a bit like, you know, sea spray. I just don't, I don't like it. And I think, I think generally speaking, a lot of people don't. I think we're never really gonna leave sectoral blocky variegation. I don't think it's ever going to go out of fashion. I think it's always going to be the preference. I'm not saying other variegated plants won't come in and take people by surprise and people don't like them and they, they end up being a thing. I'm just saying this is never going to rule supreme over something else that is nice and blocky. So cool that it's a new thing. I think it is registered as well, but it's it's not for me and I don't like it, but I didn't actually think about putting it on this list. So that was you guys, that one. Next up, we do have... Oh, I'm, I'm torn on this one. Did I write I'm torn? Yeah, I literally wrote, I'm torn. They can look good, but it's down to the individual plant. Yeah, so this one is Philodendron Pariso Verde. And they can look good. Stay with me, because I know a lot of people don't like these. They can. They can. And it's usually, don't get me wrong, just go to Instagram, because that's where the good ones are. Because honestly, if someone has a good one, you'll know about it. You'll see it a lot. And it will probably look all right. But... I think my issue is they're so gangly. They're so gangly. Not only that, but some photographs, the one I'm looking at definitely does sort of show this, but you expect the leaf to uh, just not be as flimsy as it is, right? It's so, it's not quite like a wet paper towel, but it, it's really, you know what I mean? If you've had one, they just sort of hang and there's no, they're just not, they're a bit flaccid. You know what I mean? They're a bit flaccid. It's not really for me. It's not really for me. So I think the pattern is okay. Again, some people think it looks a bit viral. I wouldn't say it looks viral. I just think it looks like a pretty big acquired taste. Also, if you don't keep these guys warm enough, the variegation just goes wee and just goes, it will come back, get them hotter. But generally speaking, it can go. So unless you've got like greenhouse conditions and you can get loads of light, get it looking really leggy, really pert, you're still probably going to have to do what a lot of people do and put little stakes in the plant or little straws like they do in Thailand and just sort of tie each petiole to a straw to get it looking nice and then get your right angle for your Instagram picture, all of that noise. But if you're able to do that in great conditions, you probably will be one of these people that has a good one. Personally, if you're not doing that, I'm just going to guess, not meaning to offend anybody, but I'm guessing yours doesn't look so good. I just feel like these are, it's so weird, they're not a difficult plant to grow, okay? They're a difficult plant to make look sexy. There's a difference because these guys grow themselves. Anyone will tell you, you can make money off these so easily. And I'm not saying you make loads per cutting or anything, but they grow so quickly, they root quickly, they're very aggressive, very aggressive. But they just, they're just not easy to make look good. And that's a bit of a problem for me. And all of y'all thought it anyway. So, welcome to another one of my suggestions. This is an older one, this one. This is, I, you know what, I haven't even written the name of the plant as such. I've just called it the Birkin. Philodendron Birkin, guys. I'm not going to linger on this, but I just wanted to remind you about that time when people were actually spending nearly, and I don't know why this happened. Someone needs to tell me why this happened, because I don't know. But it was out in garden centres, and people were still spending about £100 a plant, even though it's tissue culture, and there was loads of it. I don't know why. Was there like a weird, really weird shortage? Was it all the, the, the newbie plant people from COVID going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, this is a thing, we need to get it, we need to get it. Not understanding that, hey, if it's in garden centers, then maybe I, I shouldn't really try and make cash on it. I don't know. Literally, if you know, let me know. But aside from that, aside from why on earth it had that really weird journey into the market, because it came up out of nowhere. Yes, it was loads of money, which you'd expect, but not when it's straight away in garden centers. That, that, that was just weird for me. It's just weird for me. But aside from that, it's ugly though, isn't it? It is ugly. And I don't know what makes it happen. I don't know. I've never, and it, I don't care enough. This is why I don't know. But I don't know if the, the white stripes just fade over time because I'm looking at a picture of one now and the lower leaves are just kind of green. So I don't know if that white fades down over time or what. I don't really know. I don't know if it's like a light or a heat thing like the Pareso. I don't know. I just know it's ugly. And I just want to stick it in super quick to remind you that it's, in my opinion, it's always been ugly. But people were paying way too much. And I think I said something at the time. I was like, guys, I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. But people did it. Yikes. 
Right, this next one, not saying it's a new plant, you can't really have new plants, you know, they've been around for hundreds of years, but you get my point. I don't know if this is like the thing that is in fashion at the minute, or it always used to be, or I've only just finally found out about it, I don't know. But I wanted to mention it because, I, again, this could be hypocritical. Have I said it? Yes, I have. I have literally said this is hypocritical. I don't particularly like, and this is my suggestion, the Syngonium Godzilla. And it is hypocritical because I quite like, and I'm not saying it's the same as, but I don't mind the look of, oh my god, what is it called? Is it Epipremium Shangri-La? Don't mind that too much. I quite like Alocasia Flying Squid. I mean, that's not quite that similar. And Alocasia Tiny Dancer, I quite like as well. I think those are they're very nice plants. I'll try and put photographs for you in to illustrate what I'm talking about. But for whatever reason, don't like this one. And I think maybe for whatever reason, these just look like they haven't unfurled properly. It's not like, oh, this is deformed, but it's living its best life and it should look like this. For some reason, my brain goes, it's not unfurling, it needs fed. And I don't know why. And it, yes, another one that is completely hypocritical because as I've just mentioned, I like those other plants. But let me know if this is like the thing at the minute for Syngonium, because I don't know if it is or not. I didn't care to look it up, to be honest, because I don't like plants, so why would I? But I, I do hear the odd person talking about Godzilla at the minute. So maybe it's like a new thing, new, relax, relax yourself, put the keyboard away, relax, relax. But you get what I mean. I don't actually know, but ugly though. Hypocritical, but it is a bit ugly. Ooh, this is another fan suggestion. And the amount of people that suggested this plant kind of did take me off guard a little bit. I'll be honest. Now, I always knew it was an acquired taste. I've always kind of bashed it. I've always sold it as well, literally. And you know me on this channel, I'm no stranger to bashing things that I do sell. And if anybody wonders my logic for that, by the way, it's because someone will buy it. I don't have to like everything I sell. I run a plant shop. Do you know what I mean? I cannot like certain plants because that's normal. And I think if I came on here every week and was like, oh my God, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. They're all beautiful. I think you'd just be sat there going, oh, tell us the truth. Do you know what I mean? So I've never, I don't want to say I've hated it because I don't think I have. I've said it was overhyped and it was. It got stupid. It got stupid in COVID. But anyway, I'm talking about the philodendron strawberry shake. And y'all, literally, do you remember my variegation video that I mentioned before where I talked about the philodendron Florida beauty? The, the amount of people that said this plant was the equivalent to that. And that was significant in that video. But none of y'all like it very much. And I'm guessing this could be the bronze vibes because I'm looking at a picture now and it's not a flattering one, to be honest. I don't deliberately go out of my way to show myself bad pictures when I talk about these plants. I just grab a picture from Google. I don't really think about it. But this is quite bronzy. Um, I feel like when the variegation is nice and it's sectoral and it, it's bright, it does go a very nice pinky creamy color if you like it. If you like, what do I have that's like that? My homolamina, is it homolamina rubescens variegated or something like that? Or is it something ruby? Sorry. That homolamina that I'm showing you a picture of, the color that it can harden is a little bit like that, maybe like less pink than that, to be honest, but it can be a bit like that. I don't know what you guys hate about it specifically. I mean, if it's growing it, then yes, I agree, because it just grows ugly. If you take a little cutting, oh my God, I'm, I'm so sorry for you. It's worse than Pink Princess, and that says a lot. It just takes ages to size up. It's horrible. It is horrible. If you were a person that decided to make money off this plant and propagate it and sell it, are you okay? Like, have you recovered yet? Because I haven't. Because the amount of time I had these tiny, shitty little plants for, that I propagated for so long, guys, and they were starting to size up so slowly, they were just crap. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it's hard work. They're hard work. I wouldn't recommend them for investment and just getting nice looking plants out of it. I would not recommend at all. Maybe that's why y'all hate it. I don't know. The other thing I would suggest is that you guys probably find the variegation a bit, um, I want to say dishwashery. Dishwashery? Dishwatery. Not as bad as the Black Cardinal, but a bit, you know, sort of touching that. I think sometimes when the variegation isn't sectoral, it looks pretty nasty too, to be honest. So I do agree with you, but I don't, I probably don't think it's as bad as you guys do. I really hate the plant more in terms of growing it than how it looks, because you can genuinely, honestly, if you go on Pinterest or Instagram, you will find some nice looking ones. I guarantee you'll find one. You're bound to find one. But generally, I do, I do get what you're on about. It's, it's not. There's nicer out there, is there not? There is. 
And that's it for this week's video on rare plants that I find quite ugly. If you'd like me to do another one of these, please do let me know and I'll probably open it again to your suggestions because this might have got the juices flowing, I don't know. Obviously, if you think any plants are ugly that I haven't mentioned, please do feel free to leave a comment below because I just know, I just know someone is going to write something and I'm going to be like, oh my God, I know, I know. Why didn't I say that? Or someone's going to write a comment going, hey, you literally hate this plant, you, you knock this plant all the time why didn't you say that and the answer is that I forgot so if you could think of anything like that please do feel free to leave a comment and I might do another one of these videos in the same format and we will we will do it all again I'll get your suggestions and we'll do another one thank you very much for watching this video this week guys I will love you and leave you if you like this video please leave a like down below it lets me know that I make content that you enjoy and if you are not already I would absolutely adore it if you could subscribe and be part of the family but I'm gonna love you and leave you thank you very much guys and I will see you next week. Bye.